where have you been? You're running really late. I'm not late. Yeah, look at the time. What? I don't know how to read time. You don't know how to read time? No. Oh my goodness. Well, that means we need to make a clock and teach you how to read time. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so here's what we have. We have our cardboard sheet, and it's gonna have the front and the back of the clock. It's also gonna have the body of the clock, so that's gonna go on the sides, that way it's a 3D clock. You're gonna need the arms of the clock, the center part that connects the arms, and this right here is gonna be the part that goes through the middle, which allows you to spin the hands, all right? And then we have cute little ears that we're gonna add to the clock to make it look cute. All right, so we have the rest of the materials. So we're gonna need yellow, blue, light blue, pink, green, and orange. We're gonna need also the little numbers. We need all the way to 12, not six, okay? Yep. And we have rope here that we're gonna use to hang the clock as well. That way you can see it from everywhere in the room. And we're gonna need double-sided sticky tape. Yep, always. And we're gonna need brush. To paint it, paint. yep. And glue. We're gonna need the markers as always. And scissors and knife that are for your parents. Remember, kids, let your parents do the big cutting part so that way you can stay safe. Yeah. For the older siblings also, if you have some. Alright, let's get started. Yeah, let's go. So step one, we have to cut out yep. the clock part, the clock faces. Can you hand me the knife? Oh yeah. Thank you. Of course. Which one? Any of them. Either one. Doesn't okay. matter. So yellow. Awesome. Thank you. Now remember, kids, when you hand a knife to someone, you always want to hand it to them handle first. That way they don't cut themselves. So we're going to start off by cutting out the faces. That's step one. Then the body will be step two. Then we're going to cut out the rest of the clock, and that'll be step three for our cutting. So let's get started. Color the little letters. Awesome. Here we go. Now, kids, always remember to put something down underneath your cardboard before you cut. That way you're not cutting the floor. That's the front face, or the back one, whichever one you decide. Front faces. So now, I'm going to use the green for the number two. It's gonna be pretty cool. And we'll be able to teach you how to read time. I know, I'm not really good. That's okay. Practice makes perfect. <clears throat> now careful kids, when you guys are cutting this out right here, wherever you see these little X's, that means don't cut it. So it's gonna be like an outside, you're gonna fold it in. And also, That's okay. As so long as you have the colors and you can tell the time. Ta da! See? This is what it's going to start to look like, and you'll finish off all the way at the bottom. Cool? Then, also, you're going to want to cut out the rest of the clock pieces right here. So the, uh, the, the arms and the centerpiece and the pin. Okay? All right, so we've finished cutting out all the different pieces for the clock. We've got the two faces, the front and the back. We've got our, our hands for the clock and the rest of the parts that we need. Now what we have to do is we have to stick it all together. So we've got some tape on here. We'll start making the body. All right, so I'm gonna start on one end and make sure it's even and I'll push it down and we'll move our way around the clock. Like that, and there we go. We have the body of the clock. We're gonna let the glue dry on that, and then we can paint and draw the other sides for this, and we're gonna attach the hands and everything else as well, and then all those numbers that she's making. All right, guys, now 
we finished our clock. This is what the finished clock will look like. It's a 3D clock. We've got the rope to hang it, just like that. Cute little ears. Now, we can make it any animal, right? And she did all the colors on the clock uh, numbers as well. That's a really good job with that. So, let's teach you a little bit about time, right? So if it's on 12 and five, what's that? 12 or five. Okay, so now let's go all the way down to six and one. What time is it? One half or one thirty, that's correct. Remember guys, if you enjoyed this episode, subscribe to Baby Chino TV and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. See you later. Okay, let's continue. Alright, so let's see here. Here you pick the numbers. And I'll tell you. Yeah, I'll tell you which it is. Alright, that's eleven five o'clock. No. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's five fifty five. See? Five? 55, because that's 60. Yeah. Yeah, cool.